time for Tech Talk here on Wisconsin Tonight. Jason's with us. We're talking about fitness apps and medical things that are on your phone that a lot of people don't even know about. Tell us a little bit about this ID that you have. So one of the cool things that a lot of people may not know about is through the health app on an iPhone, mm -hmm. you can actually set up a medical ID card. So if there's an emergency, you can have your contact information in there. You can also have any like allergies or medical conditions you have as well. So if something happens, say you're in a car accident, say you know you pass out or something like that, people can go right to your phone and you don't even need the, the passcode or anything nope. like that, right? You're right. You don't even need the passcode. You can go to the swipe to unlock screen if there's a lock um, code on there. Mm -hmm. This will show up right there so you don't even have to get into the phone to do it. Perfect. We were also talking before, you know, it's good for maybe elderly parents. You yep. know, your kids can set this up for them. And if something does happen, it's a really easy way to get the information that you need to find. Right. Anybody can get the information. It's going to help first responders as well. Uh, they're even being trained in uh, Wisconsin and Minnesota to look for that on the mm -hmm. phone so they can get that information right away. Super important. All right. Let's talk about this MyFitnessPal. Yes. Yeah, so MyFitnessPal, uh, life's getting crazy. You know, there's always stuff going on. It's hard to mm -hmm. track, you know, how much, what you're eating, your exercise level, try to mm -hmm. figure out at the end of the day where you left off. This app is going to be a place where you can put what you ate, how much exercise you did, and then it's going to kind of compile all that and give you like what your, your end of the day total is. Absolutely. And then it kind of gives you those goals for the future. Say if you wanted to lose so many pounds by a certain time, how much you would have to do to do that, right? You bet. It's going to have that in there as well. Awesome. All right. Talk about the other apps that you have. So we have JFit. So JFit's awesome because it's got tons of different workouts that you can do. It's got instructional videos as well, and then you mm -hmm. can even compete with your friends on that one. That's a good one, too. All this to help keep our New Year's resolutions, right? You bet. Keep you fit and in shape. All right. And then there's another one, too. Sleeping. Yes. A big part of losing weight is getting enough sleep, right? Yes. Yeah, so you want to make sure you get enough sleep. So the Sleep Better Sleep Cycle Tracker, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's an app that you can put on your phone. What it's going to do is it's going to give you a, a customized window that it'll wake you up in. So it's, oh. it's waking up the optimal time. So you wake up and you feel well rested and you're ready to go for the day. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's awesome, right? All sorts of stuff that's in our phones now that we may how, not know about. How important is it now to be able to keep all of this kind of in th something that you have with you at all times? Well, it's nice that it's all built in. It's mm -hmm. all in one so that you, it's easiest to do when you have it with you. So you're not right. having to go to different places to put, you know, I ate this, right? Sure. I worked out this much. It's all sure. right in your pocket, right at the palm of your hand when you have your phone with you. Awesome. Very important. All right. For more information about these apps, just visit our website and click on this story under the Wisconsin Tonight tab. Well, just around the corner.